Okay. Who likes to go places? Yay, me. I love to travel. I love to do things. Who likes going through the lines, the TSA lines at the airport? Oh, not a lot of raised hands there. Okay, I'm going to tell you a story about a woman named Sandy. And she's trying to get through to the TSA checkpoints. And they've, she's taken off her shoes. She's taken off her belt. She's put her laptop in a separate container. And she's going through the line. And she gets through the scanners and they go off. So they want to pat her down. And Sandy just doesn't keep it together. She she starts yelling at the, the security agent, you don't need to do that. It's just my underwire. You don't you don't need to go there. You don't need to do it. And, she's like, and the, the agent tries to stay calm and says, you know what, I do need to do this. You know, the the thing went off, we just need to check. Um this is really not under necessary, says Sandy, and she starts yelling and she's like, It's just my underwire. And um so the TSA agent gets another agent in. She's like, we have a hostile traveler here. I need some help. Um, then what's happened to Sandy next is not only did she get the pat down she didn't want, they end up going through all of her bags because of her attitude, because of her hostility. And they, they confiscate a pair of tweezers. And now Sandy just loses it. She's like, I've taken these tweezers through hundreds of airports and they cost me 20 bucks. I'm not going to give them up. You're going to make me move, lose my freaking flight because of these tweezers. Are you really going to do that? And she's yelling at the people. Okay. Show of hands. Who do you think? Do you think Sandy actually got her tweezers through? <laughs> Do you think her anger got her anything? It got her a missed flight. It got her a lot of aggravations. And, you know, she's putting on her shoes again. And she's saying, I can't believe they treated me this way. And I'm thinking, I can't believe you acted that way. And she's like, I should file a complaint. And I'm thinking, you should be in jail. <laughs> there is no way to behave that way. Now, let me say very, very clearly, there is nothing wrong with anger. Anger is merely an indication that something's not right, that something needs to be fixed. But we don't need our anger to control us. Um, and that's what we're going through, how to use power phrases. And there are power phrases that help you when you're angry. Um, we want to be short, specific, targeted phrases. When to mean what we say and say what we mean. Um, these paraphrases get results where anger won't. Well, <laughs> her anger got her some results. I don't think they were the results she wanted. Um, Sandy had spoke, spoke in a way that worked against her. Mark Twain says, getting angry is easy. Anybody can do that. But anger, getting angry in the right way, with the right amount of time, that's what's hard. Can you get angry in the right way, in the right time, in the right amount? Polish off your power phrases and let's have anger that says what we mean, means what we says without being mean, and gets what we want. All right, we're going to talk more later. Bye.